Hello Libra, welcome to your monthly reading for July 2023. This is for Libra Sun and Rising and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult across spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific and detailed with your reading. Libra, I do this because I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading rather than a general spread. Lastly, I use astrology because it's been used for thousands of years and it brings a lot more depth to your reading. So Libra, let's get to it. I don't know if you saw your last week's reading. Oh my goodness. Wow. A lot of magic there. And so we're continuing that. Okay. If you saw last week's reading, you know that I said July is very different from June. Okay. July is crazy exciting. It's so magical. Okay. It's magical. It's all, it's radical. All right. It's radical. It's, it's, it's all about empowerment. It's all about success. It's all about wealth, opportunities, uh, love, relationships, family, true love. Uh, it's, it's, it's everything. July is everything. And so I've been, uh, trying to conceal that, that this is one of the best months of the year. Uh, if not the best, it's so exciting. It's very exciting. Now I'm going to tell you why it's really exciting. The first thing is first, if you saw, I did a reading a few weeks ago about the Jupiter's, uh, sextiling Saturn. Now, that's really interesting because it's linking back to the great conjunction that we had December 21st, 2020. Jupiter and Saturn, they conjunct every 20 years. And, you know, it's so nice. Okay, just wait until January 2024. They're going to be like two degrees away from each other. But the way that I've been explaining it, it's like the analogy that I've been using. Okay, think of, uh, I don't know if you saw that movie Dirty Dancing, but remember the end when Jennifer Grey was on the stage and uh, Patrick Swayze came through, right? And so Jennifer Grey is Jupiter, Patrick Swayze is Saturn. She couldn't do the dance without him. Okay, he came in, supported her, they nailed it. Magical, memorable, unforgettable, right? And so that's what Jupiter and Saturn's in right now. And it's such a, it's honestly such a magical month, especially because Jupiter is a planet of good luck, good fortune, prosperity, um, uh, 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 expansion, belief. It's absolutely amazing. And then Saturn is bringing all that stability. It may be like the taskmaster planet, but it is, uh, it's, you're learning a lot. You're becoming a lot more responsible, but this, it can, it, they're making you a little bit more wiser, giving you that deeper knowledge and wisdom and confidence, especially with a lot of the other aspects that are happening, a lot of growth this month. Okay. A lot of magic, a lot of magic. Now, what makes this month even more special and even more unique is is that Venus is going retrograde now I don't if you're into astrology you would know that that is uh, something that I would uh, have to talk about right Venus retrograde is a big thing okay so Venus goes uh, it went retrograde in Leo in 2015 and so when Venus goes retrograde it's very different from Mercury retrograde which is what most people know right uh, it's very different okay it's still a retrograde so it's a time to reassess rethink reevaluate right uh but it's all about venus being in leo so it's about matters of the heart so this is rethinking relationships this is rethinking your passions things that get your heart pumping it's also you know just love uh money right venus rules money so it's uh really really a, a big time uh what makes this venus retrograde in leo very, very unique is the fact that Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto are retrograde too. And so while things may not move fast as fast as you uh, would it is normal, this is actually really good because it's pulling back the blinds and you get to really have a moment to see what do I want? What is going to make me happy? How like it, it really is uh, all about rethinking uh, your future and where you are now. And so this is a pivotal month. This is a life changing month. And I know that I'm very like, if, if you know my readings, I uh, try to avoid using the term life changing, but this is a life changing month. Okay. And uh, the other reason why it is a life changing month is because uh, the lunar nodes are changing. We're going to talk about that later. But the nodes, like the north node, south, south node, so it's that it's a, your destiny, right? Your destiny is changing. Your life purpose is changing. All of that is changing. Now, with this Venus retrograde, 
in Leo that spotlight is on you okay this spotlight is on you and it's all about rethinking your path forward that's what all these rest it's it's your this is the month okay where you're going to be rethinking your path forward you're going to be asking yourself what are the changes that i want in my life to make my life better to get closer to my path to on my path to enlightenment or even the goals uh the finish line that i have in mind uh you are going to change there are going to be parts of you that change uh especially you libra okay because as we know jupiter in taurus is in your eighth house of death and rebirth and transformation so this is a big month of change for you okay big month of change big year of change for you but this especially this month okay because this is a life-changing month for all signs but you with jupiter the planet of good luck prosperity good fortune uh expansion belief in your eighth house of transformation really big and you may be reconsidering relationships. I'm not going to lie. That's a big thing that's going to happen. All right. That's Venus retrograde. All right. You may, uh, it could be with a business partner. It could be with like relationship at home. It could be with friendships too. All right. You may be thinking about that. And then also with retrogrades, remember people from the past come back into our life. So it could be old lovers that come back. It could be soulmates that, uh, or people like the ones that got away. Right. It's like those movies. Uh, so this is an absolutely big month for everybody, for everybody it's huge it's a huge month and then remember saturn is in pisces in your sixth house okay and so that's bringing a lot of stability and like work into your everyday activities uh you're becoming you're taking it a lot more seriously okay uh it's also health if uh there are health matters that are uh on your mind and when i say health it can also be like Maybe you're thinking of starting something new in health. Maybe you want to start a new diet plan. Maybe you do want to start a new, uh, maybe you're a Pilates person. You want to do yoga instead. There's going to be all these changes that you may be thinking about this month. Okay. Every Libra is going to be different though. Every, you know, it comes down to your birth chart and your rising. And so every, everyone is going to go through some sort of change this month, especially with these retrogrades with Jupiter and Saturn with, uh, it, it's like, it's crazy crazy it's crazy uh and then also with the the uh the nodes changing changing the the uh lunar nodes um the one thing that i do want to point out is remember from the beginning i said this month is radical and i mean that in all you know sense of that word but if you take the etymological root of radical it's root <laughs> isn't that crazy and so um when you go back to when when tarot did come out like the 14th century uh it really did like natural like radical like naturally evolved into like figuratively like fundamental right so it's really like changing or taking action in changing uh like the fundamental nature of things that's you know uh the definition of it right so uh a lot of it is just uh a sense of freedom this independence this you know looking at things in a new way and doing things in a new way and really changing your life to adapt to this new way so i absolutely absolutely love this month you will love this month libra so let's go ahead and get started as i uh one thing uh to consider um remember when I, uh, after I, if you're new to my channel, um, after I do your spread, stick around because I break it down week by week. There are so many golden aspects. I know a lot of y'all ask about what are the best days of the week. There are too many. There are too many. And so I break it down week by week. I hadn't even talked about the fact that we have a full moon in Capricorn or the fact that we have a new moon in Cancer or that Mercury is going into Leo. Mars is going into Virgo. We have a sextile here. We have a trine here. We have, this is an amazing month. This is an amazing month, okay? So I break it down week by week. And again, if you're new to my channel, I do leave all the key astrological dates in the description box if you do want to follow along. So with that said, Libra, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's see what's going on for you for July 2023. Again, this is for Libra, Sun, and Rising. I know a lot of people, uh, my accent, they think I'm saying Sun and Rising, but sun and rising and if you want to read for your moon your venus all those other placements you are absolutely welcome to so again let's go ahead and do it libra let's see what's going on for you for um july 2023 so libra like i said earlier i do a traditional celtic cross spread really does bring the best overview in my opinion if we need to pull clarifiers we will pull clarifiers secondly libra um 
thank you for being here. You know that I love you. Uh, I hope you're having a great month so far, kicking off. Uh, we're honestly like, even before we get to July, we've had so many great aspects leading up to July. But uh, let me just pull up my screen here and turn off that. Was that a beep? That was from my computer. Everything should be off. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it, Libra. You're good. <laughs> Libra, look at you. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. All right. So uh, let's talk about this, Libra. Let's talk about this. You got the Hierophant. Okay. The Hierophant ruled by Taurus. We know that Jupiter moved into Taurus, right? In your eighth house death and rebirth transformation but also also uh other people's money that may be a thing for y'all okay so think in terms of like inheritance think in terms of investments uh maybe even your partner getting a raise maybe even uh you know uh bonuses commissions uh real estate things like that but at the end of the day the hierophant this is you know he connects the divine to the you know our physical reality this is very spiritual energy all right so i absolutely love this for you uh uh this is someone who has that deep sacred knowledge you see he has the keys okay and this is come on he's wearing the triple crown he's wearing a triple crown so the hierophant think about the hierophant greek priest right hero eros okay it means sacred all right holy font comes from finin all right to display to reveal this came up in your past you're good you've gotten that spiritual download it's almost like you are on this platform i feel like that's been happening for you libra you've been like becoming in a place where you are the one that people go to right to get advice to get you know to because you have that knowledge you have that sage wisdom and you're spreading it to others I absolutely love that for you. Some of y'all may have joined some sort of organizations as well. Uh, this is, you know, there's a sense of community organizations with the Hierophant uh, structure with it too. So a lot of structure in your life. But when you think about Mars and Venus in Leo, uh, that is your 11th house. Okay. So the 11th house does rule like your social network. Okay. Uh, also groups you belong to, organizations you belong to. So that may be a thing for you moving into July, something that you may be considering, something that you may have done but at the end of the day when i say the spotlight's on you you're being influential you're becoming becoming a lot more influential i absolutely love that for you now you got the knight of wands in the heart of your spread it's been a while since i've seen the knight of wands in the heart of the spread all right so this is remember this is a monthly reading not a weekly reading this is for the month this is fire on fire this is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing because uh what's going on here sad so uh this is not only double fire right knights are fire ones are fire but he is sagittarius okay and that is your third house all right communication and so it's so crazy it's like look at this the hair font with the knight of wands it's like when i say you're becoming influential it's like people are listening to you okay the third house also rules like siblings okay aunts cousins neighbors uh there's a lot of activity for some of y'all that may happen with that this month okay uh but also uh with travel as well okay short distance travel in the knight of wands a lot of travel attached to this card but at the end of the day it's just pursuing your passions all right pursuing your passions this is like nothing can stop me now energy all right you see the wand in his hand all right that wand sprouting those leaves this is you just running with it your passions okay this is absolutely amazing your ideas creativity even work related if you are here for work ones do represent like enterprise career work jobs you're good you're absolutely good it's like nothing can stop me now now here's the one thing you got the sun but you got the sun in your challenge area all right so some of y'all this month it's like uh the sun represents optimism right it's opportunity it's abundance it's vitality it's growth it's in your challenge area so sir it's honestly like the main message is like get in touch with your shadow self all right there's probably like for some libras like a part of you that uh it's almost like you don't want people to see this part of you but it's like almost like your best asset in a way it's like you know think of those movies where there's that like really shy singer right uh what, what was that movie uh with with whoopi goldberg uh sister act it was like that one singer who 
she couldn't she was so shy and but she was like she had this crazy powerful voice you know Whoopi Goldberg got out of her and she that's like that it's like that's the energy that I'm getting it's like let be in the spotlight Libra be in the spotlight okay let if there are parts of you that you're just like oh, I don't want to, it's like that part of yourself that you don't want others to see um, I think it will be really good for you, okay, to work on that, all right? So, uh, and I'm not saying that, like, this is for all Libras. Like, there is, like, everyone has, like, this hidden secret. But, like, think about it. Take this time this month while all these planets are retrograde. This month is all about you. The spotlight is on you. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, okay? And have that moment. If there is, like, a side of you, like, you know, uh, it's any of those movies, right? That inspiring movies where people think that they can't do something and they don't want to show it to the public, but it becomes, it's like the best thing. It's like whether they're a singer, whether they're an actor, whether they're, you know, a comedian, a, a, a mime, whatever it is, there's like this talent that you have. This, that's what I'm, I'm looking at your spread. I'm just like, there's something in you, Libra, that others have to see, okay? Something in you, Libra, that others have to get see, but um, also with the uh, like the shadow self, okay, uh, that part of you where it's almost like you work with it, and it's just like you know that it's like uh, people uh, you don't want people to see it. It's just a good time to work on it too. You don't have to like reveal it to people. You don't have to. It's just like a good time to like come to terms with it. All right, this is a good time. Remember, half the solar system is retrograde. Okay, so it's a good time to like things are gonna. Be, you have this time. All right, so keep that in mind because I think that's gonna help you in so many ways. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Hello. That's absolutely amazing. Um, it seems like there's home on your mind, too, uh, for a lot of Libras. There could be a sense of, like, home going on, especially when you think about the fact that uh, Capricorn, by the way, Pluto retrograded back in Capricorn, all right? That is your fourth house of your domestic sector, okay? Now, the reason I say that is because uh, the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, all right? You see the sea goat in her throne, okay? And so uh, there could be some home matters on your mind, like your relationships, your family, your children, even your actual home. Uh, but it's I love the fact you got the Queen of Pentacles It's just showing that there is that side of you where you want to just provide. You want to be that person that provides for your family, for your children, for your squad. Right. It's like uh, when I say family. We live in a generation where it means a lot of different things for a lot of people, right? So, you know, my family, my biological family's down in Georgia. I have my other, my friends, my family here up in New York City. So it's just you being that person that, uh, uh, it's like you want to be at this place where you, you have the resources to take care of everybody in your kingdom, but as well as yourself, okay? You as well. Now, remember I said this is a month of like fertility, growth, magic, things are happening. Look at this, the little bunny rabbit hidden in the corner. How funny is that that I was talking about earlier? I was getting a message that there's something inside some Libras, some of y'all. It's like magic, all right? Show it to the world, all right? It's a hidden talent or whatnot. And now you see the bunny rabbit hidden there, but representing fertility and growth, okay? And so there's your affirmation, okay? Uh, so, uh, but in any case, all Libras, listen, this is just... Uh, Ed, 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 Queen of Pentacles in your crown, really great, okay? Really great. I absolutely love that. You just want to be that person. You want to be the mama bear, uh, but also just not having to worry about money anymore, not having to worry about anything. And when I say wealth as well, Pentacles are earthbound, your physical reality. So you just, uh, July is going to be a month where you just want to build this world that you want to live in, the perfect world. That's what July is everything that I said earlier, okay? Everything that I said earlier, okay? It's really aligning with what's happening here. And now you got the Six of Wands. You're good. You're good, Libra. This is all about victory. This is all about success. This is, you can see, first, you see the people cheering them on. You see that this is a procession. That horse is, it's, it's in the, sure, in the photo, it's just like there, but this is a procession. That horse is galloping along. It's trotting along. It's a parade. It's like the first of many achievements to come. You are on this glorious path. 
You are on July is going to be amazing for you. You are going to be in the spotlight. You are going to get recognition. You are going to the some. You are. There's a lot to celebrate this month for you. Okay, a lot for you to celebrate. I. It's not even like I can't even. And you know, with these ones and with the pentacles, uh, you see, you got three ones, and then you got the queen of pentacles, but also the hair point here. And so, remember, for you, we're still in cancer season. First two weeks, that is your tenth house of career, of public recognition, of honors, of achievements. Okay, so I absolutely love this for you. Let this be in the spotlight. Okay, be in the spotlight. Lastly. You got the page of wands all right so not only did you get the knight of wands you got the page of wands all right so the page of wands pages usher in that new change those new beginnings those new paths uh wands remember your passions creativity ideas wands are so invigorating they're so lively look how compelled he is with that wand he wants to eventually be the king of wands okay and so he's not uh and that's why he's in this desert landscape because this page has the power to turn that desert landscape into this verdant lush garden of his passions okay you see the leaves sprouting from that wand right so you're good you're absolutely good this is a very transformative month for you absolutely absolutely page so the page of wands in your future something new coming through like a new interest new passion uh new job it could even be a message pa pages are messengers and there's a lot of like great uh aspects happening in terms of you getting surprising news this month okay and we're going to talk about that after this now libra let's get to your staff oh my goodness libra if oh uh, my lines uh if you if yeah if you like this reading libra oh my goodness sometimes i get so in the zone i'm just like oh my goodness okay so if you like this reading it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments i love hearing from you libras i love hearing from you and if you are a subscriber thank you so much for being here y'all are amazing you really make my day i am uh very grateful truly appreciative i wouldn't be here without you so thank you so much all right so and i'm sure you i got my summer cut <laughs> it's really short so libra let me see if you can see okay so uh i'm gonna pull these over a little bit um i normally like to keep them far away from you because i like to surprise you when i pull the cards up but you're good you're good libra you honestly like have absolutely nothing to worry about like you're start like you're on a journey and nothing can stop you and you're going to get a lot of attention and you're going to be able to take care of uh of people and yourself and there's these new passions coming through uh again this is very uh, like just very transformative energy i'm getting this is a transformative month though okay so life-changing month huge boom you got the knight of pentacles Wow. So you see uh, that you got two pages, two knights here, okay? And then you got the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is just saying that there is something new that's going to be entering your life this month. And it's something that you're going to want to take it in it. You're, it's like in it for the long haul. This is a card of like commitment energy, all right? this is uh uh this night is virgo knight of pentacles okay and there's a lot of activity happening in virgo this month all right but again we'll talk about that later but at the end of the day you see his horse is going nowhere okay unlike the other knights remember all the knights are active right all their horses are like flat, like look at this one his feet look at him just reared up right so this is saying that more like that stability okay being very practical, being very, very pragmatic with all this new stuff that's coming into your life and the things that you want to bring into your life, okay? This is the biggest field. There's so many seeds you can plant here, all right? So plant those seeds, all right? There's new, you're being inspired. I mean, and you are the inspiration for a lot of others too now. Boom. You're good. You're absolutely good. Like, I don't even know, like, uh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> so the star, the card of faith and hope and your hopes and wishes and the stars aligning for you, your dreams coming true. I mean, 
what can I say? This came in your external factors area. This is saying that the universe is working behind the scenes for all your hopes and wishes to come true. Okay. This is absolutely amazing, especially because remember Mars and Venus and Leo, Mars in Leo for the first two weeks of the month, but Venus in Leo, right? Your 11th house of your hopes and wishes. Absolutely amazing. Libra. One other thing I'm going to point out is that, um, Remember, so this card is ruled by Aquarius. The star is ruled by Aquarius. Pluto moved into Aquarius. Uh, that's from March until June, but it went back into Capricorn. Remember, there's some family activity going on, but it's going back into Aquarius for 20 years, starting January 2024, all right? So uh, you could see some things starting to blossom around there in terms of things that bring you pleasure okay especially because the reason i bring that up pluto and aquarius is in your fifth house of pleasure of love of romance of creativity self-expression procreation think, remember the universe is is working behind the scenes for all of these things to make you happy for your hopes and wishes to come true okay and lastly remember what i said mars and venus and leo leo is the native ruler of the fifth house where this card is this is absolutely amazing you're good libra you're good look remember you have the page of pentacles so you got the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles in your staff it's almost like there's something you want really bad you're gonna get it uh especially with the page of wands in your future and it's like you're taking it you're learning it you're absorbing it uh, big changes in your life and I want you to ask yourself where does that resonate in your life it I'm getting more of like a physical world like a new job new passion new hobby uh, something that you're gonna do uh, but for some a lot of Libras it could be like spiritually too but I'm definitely getting more like this is like your fit like things that you want to bring into your reality this is huge especially with the queen of pentacles in your crown okay remember what i said that's like uh building that world that you want for yourself the perfect world and then lastly you got the hermit uh this is amazing you not only got the hierophant you got the hermit i don't even know what to say at this point i don't know what to say at this point this is ab like the hermit is someone who has done all that deep soul searching you know like i always say think about like the medieval times like 14th century when tarot did come out people trekked for miles to get sage wisdom and knowledge from the hermit we start you have it you're spreading it you're on you you're influential and you have these passions that you're going after this is absolutely amazing just remember to shine okay shine this month shine all right like the sun um shine bright like a diamond like rihanna too now the hermit this is her ru ruled by virgo you got two virgo cards here now this is very interesting because we started off with the hierophant now we got the hermit all right so this is in your final outcome it's like that soul searching energy like you are going to be good you're going to be like spiritually like motivated you're going to be spiritually like you, you you will be this person full of wisdom all right you're moving into play. like in fact gray and tarot is wisdom look at all this gray okay what i love about this is he's looking into his future he wants to think he wants to see what's next he's got that little lantern light you can only see so far with lantern light how do you see further than that it's inside of you right the lights inside you all those answers are within you okay so even though he's looking into the future look at his staff rooting him it's grounding him in the present this is a lot of awarity too it's a word i made up awareness and clarity smushed together i you're, you're libra this is wow this is amazing you have an amazing spread you have an amazing spread just let that just just let the shine okay please shine this month because with the sun in your challenge area look at your entire spread here the only thing that could get in your way is yourself okay you are the only thing that could get in your way this month so um 
just remember to shine, okay? Just uh, be very optimistic about the things that are going to be happening for you in this uh, for this month, all right? So as I promised, I break it down week by week. Let's see what's going on for you every week this month, Libra. First week of July. It is, uh, we're, I mean, I, listen, you, you have to see the description box. Sun, sex, and Jupiter on July 1st. This is the exciting day, a day of luck. Venus and Mars are conjuncting. They're like three, de three degrees away from each other. You actually see them in the sky the same day. Mercury is sex on Jupiter. This is when you're uh, a day where you get like really good news. The, a day of luck. Uh, I don't even know what to say. This is absolutely amazing. Um, on the third, we have that full moon in Capricorn. Okay, we have that full moon in Capricorn. And again, that's your fourth house. And so there could be some activity around this time. Remember, Jupiter is still very active and Saturn is too. And Saturn is a ruling planet of Capricorn and he's on his best behavior. All right. And then on the sixth, Mercury is sextiling Uranus. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Uh, I absolutely love this for you. I mean, you could get exciting news this day. I mean, this is just this is such an amazing week, all right? This is an amazing week. And remember, Saturn is exalted in your sign. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And because it is a big, powerful full moon in Capricorn, I'm going to do three cards, okay? So let's see what's going on for you, Libra, for the first week of July. Okay, now I feel it. You're good. You're absolutely good. You got the chariot. You got the ten of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. You'll be making a decision this week, okay? Something new. You're going to be getting some exciting news. You're going to be thinking about, remember, this month is all about rethinking your path. Rethinking your path, all right? And making big life changes, okay? There you go with the seven of pentacles here, all right? You also got the ten of pentacles, which is really crazy. I love the fact that you got this. This is legacy. This is the you made it card. This is everything. This is absolutely everything. And then remember, you got the chariot. This is overcoming any obstacles, any challenges, plowing forward. Plowing forward with that self-determination, that willpower. Nothing can stop you now, energy. 2023 is a year of seven, seven. Hey, all about that introspection. Remember, you got the hermit and the hierophant here. You're golden. You're absolutely golden. I don't even know what to say. Like. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, you are going to be considered, especially with Venus retrograde, okay? That's coming up, but with all these planets retrograde, you are going to be thinking, rethinking, uh, a lot of Libras are going to be rethinking their path, all right? Uh, you're going to be asking, am I on the right path? If I'm on the right path, how do I ascend? How do I uh, make myself happier on this path, right? Or, you know what I mean? Like, this is this is going to be a big week. Now, second week of July, Mars is entering Virgo, Mercury is entering Leo. These are two really big aspects. I'm going to talk about more about my weekly uh, readings, but this is just being very straightforward and communicating, uh, being very confident, being very passionate. Also think about Virgo, just very detail oriented. It's almost like, like, so laser focused, right? Um, and then we have the sun sextile Uranus on the 14th. Another amazing day of just like, and we're back. Sorry about that. This new camera that I got, it just stops recording every time I get the storage gets full. And I cleared the storage, so I have no idea what's going on. But anyway, here we are. So anyway, uh, we were on the, the second week of July. Um, sun, I talked about sun sextile Uranus. Okay, I think I said that before it was it cut off. Uh, but that's just another great day of amazing surprises that could be happening uh, for you. All right. Uh, for every sign for that matter. But for you, uh, this is uh, absolutely amazing. And again, this is all Libra. Like Uranus is in your eighth house. Okay. Uh, in Taurus. Okay. So uh, transformation, uh, other people's resources, things like that. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for you for the second week of July. You're good. You're going to have so much power. It's not even like King of Swords. Love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, look, power, authority, 
head above the clouds, so much mental clarity, uh, especially in communication. Okay, remember, Mercury going into Leo is a big thing, but also with Mars going into Virgo, that's a big thing too. Now, we're going to talk about this more in the weekly readings, but this is huge. This is you just uh, ready, just face all your truth. No one can hide anything from you. You are it, 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 like it, almost to an intimidating, intimidating level, right? Look at him. The only king that looks directly at you and look at his sword tilted, ready to strike. You're ready to go, Libra. You're ready to go. You're ready to do it. All right, so third week of July is a big, big week. The new moon in Cancer, okay? Pluto is opposing the sun. We're going to talk about that more in the weekly. There could be some sort of power struggle, but this new moon in Cancer is really big because it's coming with that north node moving into Aries, south south node uh, moving into your sign, okay? Uh, Libra, this is big all right really big so uh honestly like think about aries like um courageous bold like taking action right this is honestly like your destiny is starting to change all right and you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel it uh especially even in the first week right but this is the week and then like right after that the sun uh just just so you know, by the way, this is one of the biggest days of the year, okay? One of the biggest days of the year, all right? So we're looking at July 17th, 18th here. Now, July 20th, sun trining Neptune. This is absolutely beautiful, beautiful trine. The sun moves into Leo, so we officially move into Leo season on the 22nd, the day that Venus does go retrograde, okay? So don't, y'all, don't do, we'll talk more about this in the weeklies, but just for now, just for a heads up, do if you if you're gonna do anything like beauty related like haircuts drastic haircuts or um you know plastic surgery or anything like that i would wait it out don't do it during venus retrograde because you don't it's like yeah you may not it's it's not a good time it's like the same thing as mercury retrograde like don't sign contracts during that time don't just that's just like a heads up all right so uh, what else is happening? Mercury is squaring Uranus, so just be flexible on the 23rd because, you know, both are in fixed signs at that point. So really, like, don't try to force anything. But anyway, Libra, let's see what's going on with you for the third week of July. You're good. You're absolutely good. You got the Eight of Wands. This is really so funny because the Eight of Wands rarely shows that, okay, it, 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 it rarely, it shows up the least frequently out of all my readings, but this month it has shown up in, I'd say, 80% of the readings. Isn't that crazy? This is the only card, one of two cards where there's no figure, no person. It's just eight wands zipping through the air. This is absolutely like bonkers. Um, it's saying that uh, things are going to move fast for you. Things are going to move fast for you uh, in a way where it's... Um, aligning for you in fact i'm going to show you something here you see the wands they are perfectly aligned so when i say everything is starting to align for you like there's a lot of enthusiasm with this card remember wands are very invigorating lively these are your passions work creativity ideas like you're good you're good you're absolutely good now the last week venus is conjuncting mercury on the 27th Oh, that's such a great day. It's such a great day. I love how we're ending the month. And on the 28th, Mercury enters Virgo. Mercury goes into Virgo. Mercury's in its domicile. Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini, but it was just in Gemini. It's going into Virgo. Again, that laser focus, that like uh, seeking that like perfection, right? You want the perfect world for yourself. I absolutely love this. So uh, let's see what's going on for you for the last week of... July. Okay. Yep. There you go. You're good. Did you get? Yeah, you did. You got three nights. You're good. Nine of Cups, by the way. Um, you're good. This is, uh, remember how I said Venus is going retrograde. So some of y'all are going to be reconsidering relationships and partnerships and, uh, Venus is retrograde in Leo. So it's matters of the heart. Uh, there could be also like new relationships coming in or rekindling, sorry, rekindling relationships, people from the past. But even still, if you're not here for relationships or partnerships, whether work or love, this is. All this knight wants to do is fill his cup. All he wants to do is be emotionally fulfilled. Okay? 
this is going after your passions very pisces by the way very very pisces which i love about this night um you can even see the wings of imag imagination on his helmet and his shoes and also the fish on his armor okay and they're red for passion and power like he is the knight in shining armor mr romance so it really is again just he's like that cool knight right he's very cool and relaxed and calm but really just wants to be emotionally fulfilled he's looking for that okay so it can be love it can be romance it can be a passion of yours but at the end of the day what's going to fill your heart what's going to make you feel like ooh, i love this i'm going for it because you've got all these other nights this is going to be a very active month for you and then with a star with a page of wands something dear to your heart coming to fruition we're heading in that direction you have the six of wands you have the eight of wands i mean a lot of passion here you have all these pentacles as well remember don't forget ah uh, like you're good you're good lastly the hierophant and the hermit you're really good libra thanks so much for tuning in I will, uh, and if, uh, by the way, oh yeah, Ugh, gosh, I always forget my, if you like this reading, it'd be great if you'd like, subscribe, leave comments. I love hearing from you. And if you are a subscriber, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, Y'all are amazing. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. This is what happens, by the way, after like, I, I do like two readings. It was like, ah. So uh, thanks so much for being here. Uh, I will see you next week. All right. Thanks, Libra. Bye-bye.